right guys we're back sorry for the delay um, today I wanted to talk about the secret door I know a lot of people have been asking me about it so I just wanted to give you a quick description I think it all came about uh, when I was younger in watching Goonies and Indiana Jones and all those and I had an obsession with these little doors these hidden doors that were always in these shows and uh, when I designed this basement I knew I was going to have this little corner right here and I had a little extra space back there and I knew I wanted a pool cue rack and I thought to myself well that would be perfect I can put a pool cue rack right there and at the same time I can make it into a door but yet nobody would know about it but then I had to think about well can I use a regular door or do I need to come up with a different system like a bookshelf now the bookshelf is obviously deeper um, so I figured something like this would be perfect. I had just enough depth that if I put a door that opened in It would actually be like three inches on this part of it to make the rack So that's what I ended up doing. I actually took a helicord door a regular like normal house door And I did quarter inch board Onto it nailed onto it and glued onto it and then I built the pool cue rack on that So if you take a look at it This is actually only that deep because I just built this rack out of half inch MDF and then I screwed that with the Craig jig onto the quarter inch and then I designed a little system here and I drilled some holes into here to, for the pool cue to fit and then holes down there and then I just made this little so what this if you look at this this is here because this is actually a door handle behind here a normal lever so what happens is the lever can go up inside of here and open the door and if I ever needed an emergency or something, I was going to actually cut a hole in here and then do like that billiard sign. I was actually going to mount it right on there. Yeah. So that if I ever needed to get in there, I'd just unscrew it and there'd be a hole behind there. I could just use the handle. So what I came up with is, obviously I did a little spot here. I drilled holes to put the balls on here. I made it a really nice rack. And then what I did with the molding is I just overlapped it. So it's actually over here a little bit. Instead of being out here where it would normally be for a door, it's overlapped so it covers this edge. So if you really come to the side like this, I mean, you can kind of see the gap right there, but I kind of set it up so that it wouldn't, it would just overlap perfectly and it wouldn't look like there was anything there. It was just built into the wall. So what I did is I ended up coming with a pull chain because I wanted to have a little cue holder for the chalk. So I ended up just coming up with an idea of a pull chain and you can just pull it out and it's on a cable on the backside hooked to the handle. So what it does is it pulls the handle up and then it opens the door on the inside. And then what happens is you open it up. Oh, well, that's interesting. I didn't even realize they were all hanging out. See what I did to myself here? I set them up in this little room. Now they got this little nook here where they can just hang out. Oh man, what are we going to get to? I wasn't even in it. So, anyways, that's what it is. Now, if you look here, you see it's normal door handle hinge right here. And then this is real thick because I overhang it. So the door frame is actually still the same. And the only difference is I had to trim off a little bit here for the swing. So it swings in like that. So if you look back here, this is actually just a normal hinges, like a door hinge on the back side of here. So the only difference was is I just built this box, this hollow box, onto the door. And then down at the bottom, I ended up doing like a corbel setup at the bottom here. And then I just built this up to this height. So then it looks like it's just nice and clean and then I've made it almost flush with the floor down here if you can see it. And then I just brought the trim up just like you would normally do. But I drilled little holes in here so the cues can fit in there and then I obviously just put a couple hooks to hang the racks. It was a perfect setup with this little opening right here. So that's it. It's just a normal door that opens in. I mounted this on the outside of it, painted it all white. And then um, on the bottom, down underneath this spot right here, is a actual, I put like just a caster wheel on there so that when the door swings open, it has something to roll on just because all the weight that it's holding. So that's the gist of it. Um, I keep some of my belongings here, mostly just pool cue stuff. But I mean, it came out really cool. And uh, I actually like it so much that I want to do another one. That's why I'm doing this video because upcoming here in the spring when it warms up just a little bit, um, I want to do, actually this time I'm going to build a bookshelf from scratch. Um, not quite that big, it'll probably be maybe like half that. And I'm going to do it up in Liv's room because behind her wall 
is uh, above the garage and it's all attic space and there's nothing in there it's not finished so I have a perfect spot on her wall where I can build a bookshelf and we'll make it deeper and it'll open in and it'll be the same effect where the molding will be over it so you can't tell and then we'll probably do some kind of book setup where you can pull a book and it'll you know open up so it'll be kind of cool that's why I wanted to give you an update but that's how that one is that was super easy like I said it was just a door I was able to get away with just using a normal door and just building onto a normal door. I mean, if you only have something that's that thick, it's perfect. I mean, I was able to measure it off and see exactly how thick it needed to be to come forward to the molding. And then it worked out perfect for the size of the balls and the pool cue rack. So it was super simple as far as that goes. And it does exactly what I wanted to do. It's a pool cue rack, but at the same time, it's a little closet. I never knew what I was going to put in there. Uh, <laughs> That's why right now it's just a stuffed animal hold for the kids to hang out in. Um, I thought maybe I'd do like a wine cellar or something in there, but I still haven't come up with an idea for it. So as of right now, it's just a little closet, safe room, you know, whatever. You can do whatever you want in there. I just haven't decided yet. So anyways, that's it for this video. Stay tuned. Um, I am, I have been filming the making of this game, so I will be editing that. And I don't know if I'm going to do a two part or a one part, but I'll get that up soon enough. It's gonna be sweet. You guys are gonna love it. We'll get that going. I'm gonna get these kids out of this closet and off the electronics. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you do because I've been putting all kinds of updates on the uh, game and everything on there. So make sure you follow me there on Twitter, Facebook. Um, that way you can keep track of where I'm at. Hopefully um, I got, I'm gonna do a Smart Things Smart Hub, uh, Home Hub coming up soon with all the electronics in the house. Um, what else? Uh, that's about it for right now. We got all kinds of projects coming up. The wood shop is good. Um, just stay tuned and uh, we'll get back. And stay tuned for that build upstairs because that bookshelf is going to be cool. You guys are going to love it. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.